What's up guys, we're at Winco in McKinney, Texas, and I heard that they had some dino beef ribs here, but we're gonna get them cut into individual sliced ribs, and the butcher back there already has them ready for us. Let's get in the store and get some stuff to turn these beef ribs into Mississippi pot roast with beef ribs. Y'all stick around. So we got these dino beef ribs cut into individual ribs. We're gonna make some Mississippi pot roast out of that. Let's go ahead and get some more ingredients. Every good Mississippi pot roast needs some au jus. So let's go ahead and let's get two packs of that. Boop. Who doesn't like some mashed potatoes with that Mississippi pot roast? Let's make it easy though. Instant mash going in. When we go to wrap our Mississippi pot roast, we're gonna need some beef broth. This is fat free, why not? So we need to get some carrots in that Mississippi pot roast. One of the biggest key ingredients to Mississippi pot roast, pepperoncinis. Another key ingredient, Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. Make sure you get the seasoning, not the dip. Since we're gonna be seasoning and adding some beef broth and pepperoncinis, you want to use unsalted butter, so we're going to use this Winco sweet cream butter, and it's unsalted. All right, y'all, we're back from Winco. We've got these beautiful dino beef ribs cut into individual ribs. Look at the marbling on these. We're going to get the Weber kettle fired up. We're going to be cooking at about 300 degrees for just a few hours just to get a nice smoky flavor and a bark built up on these ribs. And then we're going to get to making this into some Mississippi pot roast, if you will. We're going to throw these into the Dutch oven. It's going to be an awesome recipe. Let me get this camera turned around. We'll get to season these bad boys up and we'll get them onto the kettle. Okay, guys, we got these awesome looking beef ribs out of the package. Look at that, man. These are huge, awesome cuts of beef right here. They're already trimmed up nicely from the butcher and we're gonna get them seasoned up with a little bit of garlic and herb seasoning that I got at Winco also, the Atkins rub. I tasted it out of the bottle. This is gonna be perfect for this recipe. It's gonna accent the beef well and it's gonna work well with all the other ingredients that we're gonna add into our Dutch oven when it gets to that point. So let's get these nice and seasoned up. This isn't too salty, so we're gonna go a little heavy on this. It's gonna help us build up a nice bark as you can tell, there's not too much trimming that's necessary on these, which is an awesome thing. The butcher really handled these nicely. So next time you're in Winco, don't be scared to ask them to uh, custom butcher you up some meat. Get that padded in nicely. Make sure that we got all the edges. And we're going to be using hickory, like I said, rolling it about 300 degrees for the first couple of hours. And the idea is we're just looking to build a little bit of smoky flavor on these. Get a nice little bark for some extra flavor as well. And then we're gonna add all the good stuff into the Dutch oven. So that's why we want that smoker to just go ahead and already be heated up really good. So these are looking good. Check that out. I'm not gonna lie, that seasoning smells insane, guys. So y'all stick around, we'll get these onto the kettle. All right, y'all, we've got our Kingsford into our Weber here. And we're gonna be running about, and we're gonna be running about 300 degrees. I got a couple splits of hickory that I'm gonna add in here for our smoke flavor. I'll add three of those splits right now and we'll just add it as we need. Let's get these beautiful dino beef ribs onto our Weber here. Man, these are awesome cuts of meat. We're gonna be putting these on the indirect side, right there, with the fat cap up so that nice flavor can drip into the beef while it's cooking. Man, that hickory already smells good. The seasoning smells good. I'm excited for this recipe. If you've never had Mississippi pot roast, you're missing out, but we're about to elevate Mississippi pot roast in a big way. So we're gonna get this kettle shut down and we're gonna let that roll for, I'd say about an hour and a half before we even open the lid. And I will check back with y'all at that point. So we've got those beautiful dino beef ribs onto the Weber with some hickory wood. It's going to be soaking up all that smoky flavor. This is an awesome recipe. I highly suggest you give this a try. 
We're gonna let that ride for about an hour and a half, and then next time we'll see what they're looking like. All right, barbecue addicts, it's been two hours rolling on the Weber kettle at about 300-ish degrees. If you can smell this, man, this is already looking good. Let's take a peek. Look at how juicy those are. We got some nice fat rendering going on, completely flavorful. We got some good color happening from that hickory wood smoke, that seasoning sticking around nicely. I do want to go ahead and just top it with a little bit more of the garlic and herb seasoning. Since it is juicy, it's just going to soak up all those good flavors. Not a lot, just a little bit to really kick it up a notch. There we go. What I'm going to do, this is coming along beautifully, but I'm going to let that go for 30 more minutes, give or take, and then we're going to add it into the Dutch oven. All right, barbecue addicts, it's actually been about 40 minutes longer, and this is what the beef ribs are looking like. This is exactly how I wanted them to look before we went on to the next process of our cook. That fat is rendering well. Look at that. It's dripping. Beautiful fat rendering going on right there. Nice color. So we got a good amount of hickory smoke and grill flavor soaked up into all these right here. So now it's time to pull these bad boys off the grill and add them to the Dutch oven. And then we're going to get really creative and start making this into the Mississippi pot roast recipe. I've never done it with dino beef ribs, but I've wanted to, so I'm excited. So let's get this camera situated and uh, we'll get to assembling this Mississippi pot roast. All right, gang, we've got our Dutch oven right here. We're just going to put our beef ribs in. And this is where we kick this bad boy up a notch. We're going to add a lot of flavor in here. And we're going to cook these beef ribs until they just fall apart. Look at that juice. Right there. We're going to go in with a little bit of beef broth. Line the pan, or the Dutch oven I should say. Pour a little bit over the beef ribs as well. I'd say I used about three-fourths of this 32-ounce container. Then we're going to put two half sticks of butter in here. Beef and butter were made for each other. We've got our au jus gravy mix. Sprinkle that around. We've got two packs here, so let's go ahead and put them both in. If you've never had Mississippi pot roast, I highly suggest giving it a shot. Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning now. You can't have Mississippi pot roast without Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. Y'all can see flavor being created right in front of your eyes right now. Next up, man that smells good. Next up we've got our Golden Greek Pepperoncinis. We're going to pour about, well we're pouring all the juice in there and about half of our jar of pepperoncinis in there as well. Those are going to soak up, ah, we'll just toss it all in. Those are going to soak up all the flavor and uh, make this a really, really flavorful dish. So now we're going to go ahead and put it back onto our Weber here, right in the middle. The smoking portion's done. Now it's time to braise these bad boys and make them pull apart tender. So we're going to shut this down and uh, keep on cooking. I'll check back with y'all in about two hours. I almost forgot to add the carrots, guys. We'll put a nice handful or so in here as well, get those softening up. Man, this is gonna be awesome. There we go. So let's go ahead and continue cooking. Like I said, we'll check on that in two hours. All right, guys, this has been going in the Dutch oven for about, I'd say two and a half hours now. I'm gonna show y'all what it's looking like. We've been rolling about 250 degrees look at that beautiful stuff wow all the colors in that we got our pepperoncinis we got our carrots the beef ribs i'm gonna go ahead and pull one of these beef ribs out and show you what it looks like oh my goodness guys the smell is insane those juices packed full of flavor. Those pepperoncinis are dang near the best part. I'm going to go ahead and uh, flip these beef ribs over and put the meat down. Meat side down. 
in the liquid there and continue to soften this up that beef rib right there already fell off the bone so we're getting really close I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid back on this and uh, let that go for about I'd say 45 more minutes on 250 degrees and then once we get to that 45 minute mark I'm gonna turn the heat off and just keep the lid closed and just let it keep braising itself and really tenderizing so next time I see y'all we're gonna plate this up with some roasted garlic mashed potatoes y'all hang out all right guys like I said we let this cook for about an hour or more at about 250 to 300 degrees and this has been resting and simmering in the Dutch oven with zero heat for about an hour after that just to really tenderize it and not keep cooking it. So let's see how we're looking. Oh my goodness. Can y'all see that? Look at this. Smells insane, guys. Look at that beef rib. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna move this off to the side. We're gonna take these beef ribs out and see if we can't cut us up some beef to uh, top our mashed potatoes with, so there we go. Very, very juicy, 100% tender. Let's set that to the side. It smells insane. Check that out, guys, check that out. So we're gonna go ahead and cut these off the bone. Oh, they're tender as could be. Beautiful smoke ring. That one already fell off the bone, so no work needed there. Look at that, so tender. 100% tender. It smells insane, guys. If you've never had Mississippi pot roast, this is going to be amazing, but it's going to be 10 times better than just any normal Mississippi pot roast. So let's go ahead and cut us up some of these beef ribs here. Just tender as could be. Juicy, full of flavor. Again, we got everything in this video from Winco, so you can do it too. Look at that. That fat's rendered well. Real nice smoke ring on it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this camera around. We're gonna put this on some mashed potatoes and we're gonna give it a try. All right guys, check that out. Oh my goodness, look at that smoke ring. I've been sampling these beef ribs just by themselves. They're completely tender. Look at that guys, look at how juicy that is. Beautiful smoke ring. Cheers y'all. Mm. Taste of pepperoncinis. The au jus, the beef broth, the butter, the garlic and herb seasoning. But I made up those mashed potatoes that y'all saw in the intro as well. And I covered it with some beef ribs, some carrots, got the pepperoncinis in there as well. Let's give it a taste. Let's see how we're doing. Again, if you've never had Mississippi pot roast, I highly suggest you do it. You can make this with a chuck roast. We made it with beef ribs today. Enough talk. Cheers, y'all. That juice, insane. Little pro tip here, these pepperoncinis, packed full of all the flavor. That's game over guys. Appreciate y'all for hanging out. Until next time guys, peace. Y'all keep on barbecuing. Try Mississippi pot roast and you won't be mad. Later y'all. Mm.